Jake from Kelly Me Just Me, and we are doing a Mel Science subscription box unboxing. And this is the happiest day of my life. I love Mel Science. I am so excited to do these. Right here, I've got the Mel Science starter kit, and over here, I've got two um, subscription boxes from Mel Science, and a VR headset which comes with it. The cool thing about the Mel Science VR headset is if you connect it to the Mel Science app, you can actually see inside molecules. Isn't that amazing? These Mel Science boxes are aimed at age 12 plus and do contain chemicals. To make, so make sure you have an adult nearby. You get two to six experiments delivered every month. I'll show you what I got. I got the Mel Chemistry Starter Kit and I've got two of the subscription boxes and I've got the tin one and the artificial sea one. I can't wait. In this box is every single thing you need to do all of the experiments in every single subscription box. Isn't that amazing? Now let's open it. And this is the instruction manual aka the book of dreams which will help you with all your science needs so in this book it shows you what to do before you start how to set up what chemistry materials you're using and how to use them safely it has everything you need to know the next thing is a tray and remember small things come in big packages because this will protect this lovely table here from any spillages and in here <gasps> are sciencey goggles. <sighs> I am sciencey don't I? I think I'll just stick to just wearing my glasses and they'll give me enough protection and also I have an adult right there which will protect me hopefully. And there's another set, so if you have any brothers or sisters that are doing the experiment with you, or friends or parents that's trying to do the experiment, that's very good. And over here is my trusty beaker, and it's not the kind you drink out of, it's the kind that's used for science. And also, a good old funnel. It's quite a small funnel, but it'll be very, very handy just pouring in liquids into the beaker without any spillage. And right here are three blue stoppers. And these can be used quite easily. Ta da! It's to close the beaker. Pop those back in there. And here, around a zillion cups in my hand. Plastic cups. And measuring jug which you can put the solutions in here pour into here I feel like I'm doing invisible science here is <gasps> here is a macro lens for a camera with two different lenses and I mean two different lenses what I've only seen one with just one lens, but this time I have two. <laughs> These are really cool. And in here we have a knife. Just kidding, it's a phone stand. Who would have guessed? Over here I have my trusty, my mum's trusty phone. And being careful, very careful to adjust it. So then, it's a stand that I can put it down and with. The trusty app from here, I can watch videos on how to do the experiments with a trusty phone stand now. How cool. I've never been this excited in my life for a syringe, but it's a syringe. People you need syringes. And also in here in here are two coasters. Wonder what these are for? If I get this part and another part of this amazingly amazing stove, it's a mini stove! And I think, actually open it up 
I can stand it up somehow. I have to research how to do that. How to? I understand. Yes, for the starter kit. That actually rhymes. That's it for the starter kit. Out of the two science boxes, I've just start, decided to start on the artificial sea box. But before you start any of the subscription boxes, as fun as the game may seem, you have to read the instruction manual. And once that's out of the way, you get to start experimenting. With safety, of course, because safety always comes first. Also, I've just downloaded the app, which shows me how to do each science experiment. In the most chemistry box, artificial sea, these two cards, I wonder what they, they are. Actually, what they are is the experiments. I've shown you how to do them. There is chemical seaweed where you can grow a chemical seaweed garden, which sounds pretty cool, and a chemical jellyfish, which drop solutions turn into amazing jellyfish. Look at that! And I think we'll be doing the jellyfish. But before we start, I'll show you what's in the box. So, we have a petri dish, and slightly open paper clip, I'll tell you what, that, what that's for in a minute. Two little measuring spoons, with little tiny measurings on each side. We've also got two stirrers. Let's mix things up here in air. <laughs> And we've got some liquid glass. Oh, and the best thing possible. Let me open this up to show you. Absorbent tissues. Just in case you make a spill or two. There's little tissues which will help you absorb all of your little mistakes. I'm going to list the chemicals I've got. I've got iron sulfate. Copper sulfate, not sulfate, manganese sulfate, and yes, I did say manganese sulfate, that is a thing, and iron chloride. And in this little pocket, I've got copper sulfate, which looks the same as this one, but that one has 5H2O on it, and the other one didn't, so I guess that's slightly different. And I've also got potassium. Hexacandoferrite? This says potassium hexacyanoferrite. It's one of those really long words when the scientist just doesn't know what to call it, so they make up this super long and hard to say word, I guess. <laughs> it's one of those times. We also have some more iron sulfate and some zinc, zinc sulfate, so a lot of sulfates, and the best thing possible, small size gloves and large size gloves. And now I'm going to do a little bit of science magic, so then you don't have to witness Chloe fimbling and fumbling trying to put gloves on. So, a little science magic for you. <gasps> How did that work? You will never know. But I have my gloves on. Going to do the chemical jellyfish. I can't wait to see if it looks exactly like that. I am so excited. Apparently they're gonna be itty bitty and adorable too. So you put pearl, both of these little glass in there. You're gonna push down and then turn. That should be done. Now let's see. I'm pouring all of this liquid glass into the petri dish. So two whole bits of liquid glass. I'm going to use the copper sulfate first, and now I'll add four to five drops from various angles and heights. Now I'm going to add the iron chloride. I'm going to squirt it from various heights and angles and places, of course, Remember, add four to five drops. I'm going to add the manganese sulfate. I'm 
I'm now going to add the iron sulfate. So cute. I wonder what happened if I broke them. But can I broke them? I can't broke them. Why can't I broke them? Can I broke them to see what happens? I'm gonna broke them to see what happens. I didn't know that. They're very weak. It turns out they just break off. I only lightly touched them. Those are really, really cool. Look at all the tiny little bits, and when you move the fish, they all. Push together and move. I'm going to read number three, um, which is how to, on the Artificial Sea Chemical Genesis Fish Handbook, and it says that an ion exchange reaction occurs between the soldi sodium silicate and the met met metal salts. And the sodium silicate is the liquid glass. Um, as a result, insoluble metal silicates form. These resemble jellyfish, as you can see right here little jellyfish and now I'm going to get the camera and a zoom in lens and I'm going to see what it looks like close up and here is a close up of all the teeny tiny little jellyfish pieces and as you can see lots of them broke apart in the making of this video but don't worry no real je jellyfishes were harmed in the making of this video only chemical ones and I will be doing one of the tin experiments in this box. And it is open. So, we have the tin hedgehog. A zinc pellet turns into a hedgehog. And a tin dendrite metal tree grows before your very eyes. Uh, I think I'm going to do the tin dendrite. And in the box we have a battery pack which I believe is for the tin dendrite and we have some crocodile clips on wires so I'm guessing these are for the tin dendrite again I have watched the video on how to do it so more gloves we have two little tiny vials and two red lids which should be helpful so for lid like toppers that you put on before the lids and we have some chemicals we've got more absorbents and sodium hydrogen sulfate and we also have tin chloride we've got the same and the same again three lots of the same thing four lots of the same thing we have four lots of the same thing, some zinc and some liquid soap. We also have two paper clips, one not open and one open. And a petri dish. So we are going to be doing the tin dendrite. Metal tree grows before your very eyes. The tin chloride. And then... I grab the sodium hydrogen sulfate solution, it's quite a mouthful, and I pour all of that inside here is the tin chloride. And then I quickly pop the lid bit on and then I shake it and pour one bottle of that in into the petri dish and there we go and then I pour two drops of a little sip in look at that it all spread out the red crocodile clip and pop it there so then it is touching the solution and then I get the black one you dig it in but you've got to make sure it's touching the solution or else this won't work and connect the red one onto the red right so and the black one on the black and something amazing should happen apparently oh and the batteries you need are triple a's 
it's actually started to happen. I thought nothing was going to happen, but something's actually happening. If you look carefully, you can actually see a tiny bit of the metal tree growing before my eyes. I'm going to do a close-up. Look at that. It's actually slowly moving. And your eyes are not being deceived here. This is actually happening. <gasps> Look at all the tiny little particles in my day. It's very slowly happening, but it, alas, it is happening. Strange. Though on the back of all of the cards, it actually says what's happening. And it turns out the tin ions near the negatively charged electrode, which is the black one, will transform the metal into tin sin. Look, it actually says tin sin. And the tin will gradually form a long, dendrite shaped crystals throughout the solution, so it should be all fine. <gasps> that stopped my word from going out of my mouth then. Whoa, look how long that is. It's like a sword. <laughs> cool. I am quite astonished right now. It's like a sign. Like, I'm a scientist. <laughs> I can't just feel like one, I am one. This is amazing. Look at that. Also, warning, don't touch it too much because it will snap. But it's still going though. It's still going strong. I need to get still tree fingers at me. It does look a lot like a little tree, doesn't it? And it only goes from a negatively charged um, wire, which is really cool. So positively charged, eh, eh, negatively charged, ta-da! So always be negative about things, because it's always right. No, I'm just kidding, don't be negative about things, I'm just... But it's really cool how the negatively charged actually makes a tree. And that is all for today, folks. But what's my favourite science experiment, I hear you ask? Well, of course it's this one, because this is awesome! This is... I'm quite astonished by this. Look at all the tiny little tree pieces. And that means research time for me. I'm going to research every little bit of this. And it says all in this book and all in the apps, everything. It, it never leaves you questioning what's happening. It always tells you the answer, which is the thing I really like about male science. And it has loads of experiments, and it keeps you, and it keeps you happy because every single month there'll be lots and lots of fun experiments to do. I could watch this all day now. This is like the best experiment in the world. Like this is one of the most satisfying things. Any questions you may have for Mile Science, I'll put in the description below. So please check that out. I'll put the Mile Science website and everything because please check it out. It is awesome. <gasps> It's done a thing. It's done a big thing. <laughs> I don't know what else happened here, but I think it's like gotten charged from the positive because it's gone all black in that area. Let's end this on a good note, shall we? So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please, please, please leave a comment. And that's all for me now. Bye!